For today's first race, we have a drive through the field in an AMG GT3 to try and get the final podium position battling a Hurricane. And for the second race, we also have a battle for third position in the Cadillac ATS against some really fast cars. So I've got the uh, old style Mercedes F1 livery uh, for this race in the GT3. And uh, yeah, we had, uh, I think we started in P4 for this one. But we had a pretty bad start and dropped down to all the way into P8. So it was pretty much a drive through the field and trying to close down the guy in the third position, in the final podium position, because I think the top two guys were a bit too fast for us. Uh, this car tends to understeer quite a bit. It's, it's a decent car, it's very comfortable to drive, but I don't think it is quite the fastest, uh, especially round here, which is quite a, a tight and twisty track around Laguna Seca. Uh, but coming through the first sort of sector here, we can see we're under a bit of a pressure from the Ferrari 488, which I usually run, um, which I am doing at the moment. Uh, but we've also got a KTM Bow, which I believe is in front of us, which I don't see all that o often uh, in this series because I don't, I don't know how good it is. Uh, but we come to lap two now and we're straight on to the back of F1 Jacob. I have no idea who this guy is. I know we have the same name, but I promise you I have no affiliation to this guy. Kind of seems like we're in a, a clan together or in a, a racing league. But I promise you I have no idea who he is. It is a pretty much uh, a lot lower level than us. He's a la about a level 100. The Hurricane is a bit faster. I am putting my excuses in at the moment, but he's, he's driving a good race to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, it's just going to be like this for the rest of the race and try to uh, close down the final podium position in the end. But coming through that sort of off camber left hander, which can be quite tricky to get right. He makes a mistake through there. We also make a little bit of a mistake uh, coming out of that corner. But coming up to the top of the track, the corkscrew will make a massive amount of time in the braking zone through there. And we're coming out of the corkscrew. I'm almost alongside him there. We put him in under a lot of pressure at the moment and we managed to get alongside him coming out the fast left hander we'll make a bit of contact a bit of door to door banging nothing too serious there unfortunately we do get a 0.5 penalty so it's going to be pretty important to try and get past him on track as soon as possible we can see these uh, this race at the moment i think it was last week i recorded this it's only five laps uh, it's a bit of a sprint race which they kind of change it at the moment turn 10 from week to week uh, so it's about eight minutes long so we don't have a lot of time to try and get past him so uh, we've got to do it as soon as possible through any of these corners he's not really getting away from us at the moment so we're just trying to hope for him to make a bit of a mistake but he's doing a pretty decent job in the hurricane and uh, like i was saying in the previous video i think this car is the fastest car uh, that and the viper as well as the uh, lexus rcf uh, i believe them three cars are, are, are just in a different league to any other cars uh, especially in this series but coming through that off-camber left-hander once again he makes another mistake and that allows us to go alongside but almost go uh, side by side through that left-hander as well sorry i don't know the corner names or numbers uh, and we also make a little bit of contact almost take each other out but coming into the corkscrew at the top of the track we're a bit better on the brakes than him through there and we managed to take p3 in the end and uh, that will be it we managed to take p3 he didn't give us much of a challenge after that and we come to the second race for this one the final race around indianapolis in the cadillac ats i know it's a bit of a change in switching cars from race to race but this was at the start of the series when i was just trying to test out some cars try to get them to level 50 uh, just seeing what i liked and what i didn't um, i found out i kind of hate this this car it kind of feels like i'm driving the f1 game it kind of has a lot of natural understeer to it but as you get on throttle it just oversteers everywhere there's just a bit too much power uh, and not enough grip on the rear end but sometimes in the corners you will have grip it's a bit odd uh, but we'll come to lap three now halfway through nothing much happened at that point until dungy slammer or dungy slammer uh, manages to dive bombers who is in the c8 which is another pretty fast car i'm not quite sure if they've buffed that because i've seen quite a few people uh, driving it at the moment i know erratic gt did a video on it uh, saying it's pretty good so i'm not quite sure if they have buffed it at the moment and uh, i've seen quite a few people running it uh, but he manages to get through us and we're just trying to stay on to the back of him at the moment try not let him, let him get away as much as possible but we come to lap four now and we're straight onto the back of him this car does have some great straight line speed that is one of its pluses that uh, it does have really good straight line speed and he doesn't manage to get away from us he does have a 0.4 penalty so we're going to have to fight for this final podium position. We can't let him get past. 
and uh, coming through this right hander here as we come almost onto the second longest straight around here which I believe it is we get a better run we've got the straight line speed we're alongside we've got the inside for this corner the slow left hander and we managed to take P3 once again but I don't think we get away from him all that much so we can see coming through the S's through Indianapolis we can see or if you've got headphones on you can probably hear the front end of his car the engine going is right onto the back of us it makes almost a little bit of contact which I believe he does at some point and uh, we come now to the final lap at the same point in the S's and it's straight onto the back of us it makes a slight bit of contact like I was saying and manages to get through I think we're suffering with a bit more of tyre wear than him but we're not going to try let him get away too much he now has a 2.6 second penalty so I kind of want to still do it on track we've got a bit of a run out of here we've got the straight line speed and coming into this uh, tricky right hander which you can always cut at any point you can't always see the kerb uh, we managed to close up the gap a little bit but coming into the last two corners it extends the gap a little bit more if we can get a better exit out of here but no I think he still has the gap over us and in the end we do manage to finish in P3 because of that penalty and I hope you enjoyed them sort of two short races uh, in the end.